Hello, my name is Grant Wills and I'm a design engineer here at Shortime. And today I'm here to talk about sewing egg belts. Shortime egg belts are sewn using a household sewing machine rather than welded. We have what we call the four inch egg belt and the five inch egg belt. And we're gonna talk about how we can splice both of those in the field. So for the four inch egg belt, the first thing we're gonna do is cut the end of it to a rounded point, just using normal scissors or a hot knife. And what we wanna do is avoid having these ends fray. So what we can do is use a blowtorch here to kind of melt down the ends. With the five inch egg belt, we actually don't cut it to a point, we just cut it straight across. But again, to make sure that we don't have any frayed edges, we can go ahead and just melt the end. So we have here samples of the chore time four inch and five inch egg belts, and I'm going to show you how these are lapped when you splice them together. So your egg belt will be moving this direction. So you want this end to be on top. That way, the belt will not catch on any wires as it moves. It'll have a smooth surface to pass over. What we'll want here is about four inches of full width belt overlap. So this whole area will be stitched in. For the five inch egg belt, it's the same principle where the end coming from the back of the house will be on top, except we'll have a square seam. We'll overlap about four and three quarters inches and all of this will be stitched down. While sewing, be sure to keep the edges of the belts aligned so that you don't end up with a crooked belt. Be sure to completely stitch down all edges so that there's nothing exposed and keep stitches as close to the edges as possible. We don't want any edge catching or coming loose. When you're finished, go back over and trim off any loose threads as necessary. The goal is to have a low profile seam that does not catch on any equipment and matches an original factory supplied seam, i.e. one that you get from the egg belt manufacturer, as closely as possible. Factory seams are found on the supplied egg belt rolls and can and should be used as a reference. 